everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So it's season 31, and this is the first war of the season. And we're going up against an alliance called Lone Star Schwartz. Now, I forgot all about war. I, I honestly, I'm not looking forward to it. These attacker bands are trash. I hate them. Uh, I already didn't like Alliance War, and it seems like Kabam is competing to see who can make it worse. I know that's not how they feel, but that's how I feel. And these attacker bands, I hate them, okay? They don't add anything to the war and they make it worse for me personally. But anyway, let's go ahead in here. Um, they've already started, as you can see, already 85% because again, I completely forgot about this war. I don't have anybody on the first node. We've got Iron Man Infinity War, and we're going to see who gets banned. Um, here we go. They are already into the second section. I've got um, Spider-Ham and Sentinel. Uh, the minis are already down over there and mostly down here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to bring in Corvus. He can take all of these fights. And I'm also going to bring in uh, Spider-Man 2099 in case they want me to fight uh, the boss. And not sure who else I want to use. I can use Corvus, I guess, against um, that Penny if I need to there trying to think of of who else I might want to use but I'll I'll probably bring in Nick Fury. Um that might that might work out. All right, so let's look at who they have banned for this uh war. So these are the 3 they have banned. Human Torch, uh Magneto who I would have used against that Iron Man Infinity War there. Uh, and Doom. So, let me edit this team here. And we're going to go in with uh, Nick Fury. And I'm going to bring in Corvus. Now, I don't need him for Alliance Quest, so that's why I'm uh, able to bring in my 6-star. But I would have brought in the 5-star. Uh, so that's what we're going to do. All right. Let's see. All right. So uh, I'm going to get out of the way and do the fighting. And then I'll narrate with the camera on so you guys can uh, see my ugly mug. All right. So I'll be right back. All right. We are back. And Corvus has come back to war. I must say, I have missed Corvus in war. He made the fights pretty quick, and you know, at least the ones that are not Corvus traps. Uh, and I anticipated that this fight would be pretty quick. I can't remember too many times where I've lost against Iron Man Infinity War when I was using Corvus. Uh, the one time, I believe, it was on an older map, and he had Aggression Fury. And I think he was stun immune. I didn't know how to reparry or uh, anything like that. And I couldn't get my in, and he just took me out. He built up a lot of Furies, and then all into my block, took me out. Very, very quickly. Uh, but... After that, I didn't bother taking him because I knew I didn't know how to do that at the time uh, with Corvus. All right. So as you can see here, the fight is going like I expected it to. Okay. Here we go. Bait out that last special there. He's running suicide. So that helps me out. Look at that. I didn't even get a chance to hit him with my special two. He had already died from his suicides. So I, I know I play suicides, but... Uh, some champions you can place with suicides without, you know, hurting them too much, but you just have to keep that in mind. And, uh, even though I do place with suicides, I do still get kills 
with my uh, defenders. All right, so as you can see, the mini was cleared, everything was cleared. Uh, so I was able to go into uh, section two, no problem. I do not like fighting Spider-Ham, but I've gotten decent at fighting him. Uh, one of the things that I try to do is I try not to keep a lot of specials in reserve because it seems that the more power you have, the more likely he is to evade. So I try to just take him down quickly and use my specials, you know, as I can. And like here, I'm like, okay, I, I could get a special too, but he's almost dead now. So it didn't really matter. I could have fired a special one off, but a lot of times when I do that, something will happen and it will, he'll either evade it or it won't kill him. They'll leave him with 1% health and I'll take the recoil damage. That's why I hesitate to uh, fire it off sometimes. I hate when the, the game does that to me. All right, and here we have Sentinel and Corvus is great at fighting Sentinel because the medium light medium that I normally do with uh, Corvus is perfect to keep those analysis charges down. As you can see, he didn't have any analysis charges. He's gonna get a couple now, but he's almost gone. I could have prevented those as well uh, by doing a light attack in the middle of the uh, evade, but I knew that I was gonna take him down pretty quickly, so no point in doing that. Mini has been taken once again, and here we are, Mini Boss Island, and I'm looking here, and I'm like, okay, we got Doom up there, and we've got Penny Parker. And I know people don't like messing with Penny Parker, but I have a Corvus. So I went up here to Penny Parker. In Alliance Quest, I fight her pretty much every day of Alliance Quest. Every once in a while, someone else will uh, take her down, but usually it's me taking her down in a uh, map eight. And I went ahead and did an invulnerability boost because I have them, why not? And, uh, you know, a little bit of insurance. And this is how I usually fight her, even in AQ. I hit into the shield, get that down, and then start firing heavies off. You know, if I can get an auto block, then I can fire that heavy and get another mission. All right. But as you can see here, you know, we're just tearing into her. Okay. And I could have um, spaced it out to where I fired a heavy off. Okay. But I got that auto block that I wanted. Okay. But she's almost gone. And then here we go. See how I spaced that, but she got away from me. I tried to do a heavy there and uh, the stun was over too quickly. And so I was like, you know what? Never mind. Let's just take her down. I kept trying to get a heavy in, but I was like, you know what? She's not playing. Let's just take her down. So we got her down. And that's the last fight that I did in this war. I did not fight that um, boss there because I was waiting for them to take down the last link. And uh, every time I checked, the link was still up. And then when I went back to check, the link was down and so was the boss. So didn't get a chance to see how Spider-Man 2099 would have done against uh, that uh, null boss, all right? But uh, we'll be back after a brief moment and we're gonna find out how this war ended. And we're back, and unfortunately, we lost this war. First war of the season, we started off with a loss, but that's not unusual because people are coming off of this really long off season that we had. So we're knocking the dust off and that sort of thing, um, but at least we got all three bosses down. As long as we're getting all three bosses down every war, it should not hurt us too much in the rankings. And we'll win some, we'll lose some, uh, but this is where we started. We're at tier four. Let's see where we end up at the end of the season. All right, but that's going to do it, guys. Thank you all for watching. Feel free to hit that like button if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. And you all have a 
blessed day.